How to use Microsoft Loop for Project Management. Welcome back, guys. In today's video, we're diving into a topic that's reshaping the way teams work, project management in the age of collaboration. We'll be exploring a powerful tool from Microsoft designed to enhance teamwork and keep your projects organized, Microsoft Loop. So let's start from the beginning. What exactly is Microsoft Loop? If you already have a Microsoft account, all you need to do is head over to loop.cloud.microsoft. That's where you can directly access the Microsoft Loop interface. Now, Microsoft Loop is best described as a collaborative canvas, a workspace that brings together your documents, task lists, and project updates in one single place. It's built to simplify teamwork by letting teams collaborate in real time, no matter where each person is located. What makes Loop especially powerful is its structure. It's built around three main elements, and the first of those is something called Loop Components. Loop Components are live, flexible, and interactive content blocks. These can be things like task lists, bullet points, tables, or even polls. What's really cool is that you can share these components across different Microsoft 365 apps, and they stay in sync in real time. That means when you make a change in one app, it automatically updates everywhere else it's used, keeping everyone aligned and up to date. Now moving forward, let's talk about the other two core elements that make up Microsoft Loop, Loop Pages and Workspaces. Loop Pages are essentially flexible canvases where you can organize your Loop components and provide context to your work. These pages act like mini dashboards, allowing you to combine content, tasks, and notes in one place. Then you have workspaces, which are shared spaces where your team can come together to collaborate, organize information, and stay focused on specific projects. So let's walk through how to set up a workspace for the very first time. To get started, open Microsoft Loop by going to loop.cloud.microsoft. If you already have a Microsoft account, you can simply sign in to gain access. Once you're logged in, you'll land on the main dashboard. Here, you'll see an option on the upper side of the screen that says, Create New. Click that, and you'll be prompted to create a new workspace. Once you've selected everything, click Create. And just like that, your first workspace is ready. Now that we're inside the new workspace, it's time to start customizing it. One of the first things you can do is add a description for the workspace to explain its purpose. You've already got your icon and cover image set, so now click on the workspace title to view all the current pages and tools available inside it. You'll also notice the Insiders section, where you can see who created the workspace and track the hierarchy of each page. This helps keep everything organized, especially when you're working with a team. Let's say we begin by creating three sections, one for tasks, another for the calendar, and a third one labeled goals. Inside each of these pages, you can either start completely from scratch or choose a template provided by Microsoft Loop. For example, on the tasks page, you could insert a shared task list. This lets you assign tasks to team members, set deadlines, and monitor progress, all in one place. Simply go to the sidebar and click to add a new Loop component. You can insert the component directly into your page or even open it in a separate workspace if needed. That flexibility is what makes Microsoft Loop such a great collaboration tool. You'll also find options to manage settings like dictionary preferences, language choices, and more. If you press the forward slash slash key, it brings up a list of tools you can insert, like the progress tracker. A progress tracker is perfect for visualizing how far along your projects are. For instance, you can create a tracker, assign yourself as the owner, set a deadline, like the end of the month, and include any blockers, such as content creation or other dependencies. You can also set overall goals and keep adding details as the project moves forward. As you keep updating tasks and phases, the progress tracker automatically reflects those changes in a clear visual layout. You'll be able to see your completion status, progress bars, and everything in real time. Lastly, you can make use of voting tables. These are especially useful when working with a team and making group decisions. Whether you're deciding on the best idea for a campaign or choosing between product features, voting tables make collaboration easy and organized. Microsoft Loop also supports collaborative sessions using tools like voting tables, which can really come in handy when you're brainstorming with a team. For example, you can create a voting table to collect everyone's ideas, add the pros and cons of each suggestion, and let your teammates vote to help make decisions easier and more democratic. 
Another useful feature is the ability to add your own task list directly into your workspace. Whenever you want to include something new, like a checklist, table, or tracker, just press the forward slash key and select the component you want to insert. For instance, you could choose task list and it will immediately appear on your page. Since these elements are part of the loop system, they'll also show up in your workspace hierarchy, making them easier to manage and navigate. To keep everything organized, just click the upper section where it shows your shared locations. From there, you'll be able to see exactly where your components live within your workspace and how everything is structured. Now, one of the most powerful things about Loop is how well it supports real-time collaboration. Multiple team members can edit the same Loop components at the same time, with all updates happening live on screen. So, let's say I tag someone by name or assign a task. That person gets a notification, letting them know they've been mentioned and have something to take care of. Loop also integrates seamlessly with other Microsoft tools. You can embed Loop components into Microsoft Teams channels, Outlook emails or documents, so your updates stay visible and accessible wherever your team is working. You'll also see options to set sharing permissions, including things like setting an expiration date, requesting verification, or even assigning a passcode for secure access. Once you've set everything up, you can click to enable sharing, and your component or workspace becomes accessible to others with the appropriate permissions. And that's it, guys. A simple, easy-to-follow walkthrough on how to get started using Microsoft Loop. Whether you're managing tasks, organizing ideas, or collaborating in real time, Loop offers a powerful and flexible way to bring your team together. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more. Let us know in the comments how you're using Microsoft Loop in your projects. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.